Oh, I can feel a huge tangle here. Wow, see that? I don't know if that's standard or just me. Uh, I don't know. There's the back of them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna do a walkthrough slash vlog style of my curly hair routine. Starting from scratch, my hair has been in buns, it has been gelled down, it has been through everything. We're gonna start from scratch today. It's been really itchy, so I'm gonna talk you through what products I'm gonna use and the routine step by step. Whenever I feel like my scalp needs a refresh, I like to go in with my Shea Moisture shampoos. I just found that they really cleanse the scalp well and it just gets the job done whenever I have a lot of buildup. So I'm gonna go in with the Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Multi Benefit Shampoo with Marula Oil and Biotin. It is from the Superfruit Complex Life and I've been using this shampoo for years but it is definitely one that is very moisturizing but also cleanses the scalp really really well so I'm gonna go in with that and then I am going to rinse that out twice and then I'm gonna do a deep condition most of my hair products are packed away so I'm just using the ones that I've left out for the moment so this isn't probably what I would go for on a general restart routine but we're just gonna go with what we work with what we can work with so this is the Buclem intense moisture treatment and this just really gets my curls back and bouncy and really moisturizes them of course I'm gonna finish off the routine using my favorite wash and go combo my curly hair routine staple and that is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in followed with the Buclem curl cream i'll leave all the details for these down below but let's just get straight into it oh and of course i have multiple shower caps so when we're deep conditioning i like to put on a lot of shower caps i no longer have a microwave so i can't use my heated cap so i try and find ways to just put in a lot of moisture sometimes i even put a bonnet on top of the shower caps just to keep in the warmth so we're gonna go and do that i'm gonna head in the shower wet my hair and show you guys how i shampoo my hair is now fully rinsed i just rinsed it with some warm water so i'm gonna go ahead with the shampoo now and the key with shampoo is to just massage it in your scalp, not all the way through the hair. If you're thinking, oh, but how is that gonna wash all of my hair? When you rinse it out, the shampoo works its way down to the rest of the hair strand. So you don't need to go ahead and rub that all in to your hair. If I take a good amount. As you can see, it looks very conditionery and very, very thick and moisturizing. It feels so nice. So yeah, I'm gonna just Put that on the hair, you can hear. It pretty much foams up without much work. Grab my shampoo brush, put it in my hand like this, and then it just makes it really easy. Don't have to get my fingertips messy, and it actually is more effective than your fingertips because it really gets to the scalp, and where my scalp is very built up, it's getting irritated, so this is really get into the nitty gritty which I love then I will rinse it out and then repeat and I'll go in with my deep conditioner however some people like to go in with a conditioner I just don't have one on me but if you're someone who is new to the curly hair routine and to like detangling and stuff you probably will want to use a conditioner afterwards to finger detangle your curls before you deep condition I've been doing this for years now so I'm pretty much just winging it circular movements and then i'm going to repeat this i'm not going to film that part just so you guys know that's what i did i'm going to do it again and then we're going to go ahead and apply our deep conditioner okay so now we are fully rinsed and washed my hair is clean but if it isn't fully clean, we still have another chance to rinse after our deep conditioner i am going to go ahead and be very very generous this is the time to be generous if you have enough product to, because you need all the moisture, all of the ingredients, all of the strength ingredients that are in these products to really penetrate the hair strands. So what I would do is apply a lot to my hair and smooth it through. And you wanna keep this on for at least 
20 minutes but I'm gonna try and go for 30 minutes maybe even 45 because I haven't had a long deep condition treatment in a while so it is fully overdue unlike the shampoo you do want to apply this all the way through so you want to apply a lot to your ends the ends are the driest part of the hair so you want to make sure that you really look after them I also like to section the hair afterwards and give it a nice finger detangle treatment. You can use a wide tooth comb or a tangle teaser brush, anything that you prefer that works well for your hair. My hair I feel prefers finger detangling and I've had years of experience with it so I'm able to do it much quicker nowadays than in the beginning. So as you can see I really have applied a lot and my hair is starting to curl up as you can see at the ends and you can see residue of the product. So what I'm gonna do now is finger detangle and you always wanna detangle from the bottom upwards. If my fingers get stuck, that's when I know, okay, I've gotta work on that section. But right now, my fingers seem to be going through quite easily. So we're gonna move upwards. Now I can feel it's a bit tuggy here, so I'm just gonna separate that. And here, separate. <laughs> Also, you'll notice that when I get stuck, I pull upwards here because you don't want to pull and then tug out your roots. So you want to hold your roots tight and then pull through any tangles. That is a key. That is a major, major key. See how I pulled here? And if you feel like your hair is really, really tangled, you can apply even more conditioner and a bit more water as well. Do not detangle dry hair. Okay, so I think I am satisfied with the detangling of this section. So what I'm gonna do now is twist it. So separate in two parts, there you go. Twist them around each other. And this is to lock in the moisture and then you can see look at all the products starting to ooze out which is good because that shows that we have applied enough moisture so i'm just going to twist all the way down to the bottom and then i'm going to twist it around itself ready to put a shower cap over it once i have done this side as well so i'm going to finish off this side oh i can feel a huge tangle here wow see that I'm going to apply a lot of product to it so that we can get rid of this slowly and gently. So I'm just slowly taking it apart. I'm also going to apply some water as well. And you just want to take your time with it and slowly. Yep, that wasn't good. That, my friends, is why you need to be detangling on a regular basis and deep conditioning on a regular basis. Time to twist. Cool. Okay, so now we can apply our shower caps. If you have somewhere to go and you're doing this, make sure you don't get it on your forehead. I'm gonna apply one more favour in this side and then another favour in this side. Finito. So now I'm gonna show you how I put my bonnet on top and then I'm gonna deep condition for about 30, 45 minutes. So I will see you after. Hey guys, so I am back. It has been I'm kind of flu, it's been like an hour. Wow, okay, it's nearly been an hour, so I've had more than enough time for my hair to really deep condition and be treated. I, as earlier you saw, look, that's how you know there's been some kind of heat, kind of thermal action going on. So I've removed my bonnet now and I am gonna take off the shower caps. But it already feels very like, smooth and relaxed and calmed down which is a good thing. I guess it's going to be really nice and 
moisturized and smooth and detangled and frizz free so let's see what it looks like when we take it down it already feels really nice really soft wow yeah real soft real easy to just work through the hands really really nice love a good treatment i think with the buclem you can actually leave some of it in so it's not too much of a big deal if i don't rinse it all out because it looks really really good anyway with just with how it is once it dries up but obviously i'm going to go in with more moisture and more cow styling products so i'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner from shea moisture Jamaican black castor oil and then the Buclam curl cream. Those two will bring my curls back to life, but already it's just feeling so nice. Oh, so nice. I'll show you the length a bit. This is the key right now. So I'm gonna rinse with not warm water, not cold water, but very like cool water. So in the middle of the two, but you don't want it to be warm, especially if you have low porosity hair like me, you don't want it to be warm. You want it to be cool because it's gonna seal the cuticles. I'll maybe put some details down below on like porosity and stuff like that. If you don't know, I'm sure in the past I've done a video on porosity levels and how to test them out. So I will leave any links for that down below as well. But let's just get straight into the rinsing and I'll see you in a second once we are all done. So we are all rinsed out. It is time to style. This is my favorite part. I need to relax. You need to relax. Now the best time to style your hair is when it is wet like this. If you can do it in the shower, even better. But obviously I can't do it in the shower for you guys. And my hair is pretty much still dripping wet. So what I do is I go in with the first layer of the Jamaican black cast or your leave-in conditioner. You see here, I do very generously. So you're gonna see, I take about that much. And this is my first layer. So this is your first layer of leave-in moisture, leave-in conditioner. And I'm just gonna work that through. And again, I do it by sections. At the moment, I've just been doing half and half. I might half each half, so I do four sections in total. But lately, I've been kind of lazy and just doing it half and half. But I would recommend you do in as many sections as possible because you want to coat every single hair strand you don't want to just put the hair product on top of the hair and think your hair is going to be moisturized no 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 no. you need to coat every single strand that is what causes really dry and frizzy hair i'm going to go again to the bottom half of the hair so when applying product i apply from the top then the bottom so it's kind of backwards to how i detangle I don't know if that's standard or just me, uh, I don't know. And now you can already see that the hair is being weighed down by the product already. As you can see, this one's starting to shrink up a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put around the same amount on this half too. And your hair should still be quite detangled from when you detangled it before you deep conditioned, which mine is, it's feeling really smooth to work the product through, which I like. You may wanna detangle again with a Demi brush or a tangle teaser or wide tooth comb to apply your product but I always apply my product with my fingers I just find that my curls sit better that way but again it's all up to you so whatever your preference is next I'm going to half it and put a tiny bit more as you can see like there's some parts that haven't got product so I'm going to put a tiny bit more on the insides that's why I said, make sure you apply to every single strand of hair. So we've done that inside bit, now I'm gonna do this bit again. But we're mainly focusing on the inside. Cause my hair is very thick. It's hard to get everywhere unless you section, section, section. That, but don't worry because we're about to apply our curl cream on top of this as well. So that will provide even more moisture. But that's also going to apply some hold for definition, but the hold is not crunchy. It's not like a gel or anything. It's just super moisturizing. The curl cream, I don't know what is in it. Well, I do, because the ingredients are there, but I don't know what it is about that that really loves my hair. Like, <laughs> there's been no other product like it, to be honest. Other products can give me the same curl definition, 
but there's just something about the hold that isn't crunchy it's just so soft and it just I can always rely on it so if you're looking for like that product that you can rely on it's always this combo look already my curls are forming and I already have some definition but if I just left it without a curl cream on top the curls are going to drop and it's probably going to get bigger without any definition so now we're going to go ahead with the magic touch of the curl cream so i'm going to take a few pumps that was probably a bit too much i might just apply that to the whole section just now and with the curl cream i just softly smooth it through as if like i am just petting and coating it in paint or something so I'll just smooth it through, smooth it through, smooth it through, and it already is forming my curls. It's like magic. It is like magic. <laughs> Typical coating, coating, coating. For now, we'll leave it like that. And then I'll get more technical in a minute. So I'm gonna again do the same thing. About three pumps of the curl cream and apply to the whole section again this is dependent on how thick your hair is three pumps per side is because my hair is so thick and long in length so again it's just trial and error finding what works for you sometimes if i apply too much i do find that the the residue doesn't soak into the hair and i end up with a few white bits but that's only because i put too much this product doesn't doesn't cause white bits, it's only if I've overdone it with the two combinations. So don't worry about that with this product. And what I love to do is, with the front pieces, I really go through and really work in the product because the front of my hair, I like to look the most curly. So what I'll do is I'll just like work the product through and through and make sure that these parts are not frizzy and they're just coated and curly. As you can see, they are. And you can see all my curls right now. That's how you know when it dries, it's gonna be a good wash day. So literally, I'm gonna leave my hair now to air dry and do its thing. I may fasten up the process just for the sake of this video and use a diffuser, but I don't really wanna do that. Actually, I can't do that because I don't have my diffuser here. Oh, I do. Here's another hack though. If you do have a blow heater, which I do, put that one in the room that you're sitting in and just like sit in front of the blow heater or just sit in the same room with the door closed and your hair will dry quick. So I'll do that. And then I'll show you guys my results. But that's pretty much my wash curly hair routine. It's been my stable curly hair routine for years now. Nothing much has changed. I do change up the shampoo, conditioners, deep conditioners a lot, but those two leave-ins is my staple for a wash and go. If you would like to see any other videos covering different things like twist outs, spray outs, there are a whole bunch of playlists and videos on my channel to check. But if you really want me to do some updated ones, I am happy to do that every now and then. I'll just see you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, talk to me in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. So guys, my hair is dry-ish. It kind of dried really quick. Like I said, I did the heater trick. Here are my curls. They are popping. Wow. They look so good. There's the back of them. And obviously as the day goes by and it gets dry and drier, they'll just shrink up a bit more. But those are my go-to for wash and go, like I mentioned before. So that is my curly hair routine guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one, bye!